Hey guys, welcome back to the Firm Life Outfitters channel. This is day 25 of No Spend November. We are almost to the end of the month. And I've had several questions from you guys about like, what's the first thing you're going to spend uh, your money on in December? And I would have to say probably groceries. Um, we could get by without groceries like we've talked about throughout this month, but... There are a few things that we ran out of that I especially love, like some dried fruits and things that we love to snack on. And uh, our Azure order goes in on December 1st. So that's probably the first thing that's gonna come out of our bank account on December 1st. Um, I just wanna kind of fill you guys in on what's been going on. The kids have been cleaning out the attic. The kids junk the attic up. And so we, Adam and I feel strongly about our kids taking responsibility for the things that they do. And so that's not our responsibility to clean up after them all the time. And so they are um, cleaning the attic and uh, they are doing a really, really great job. Uh, while they're doing that, I'm actually cleaning out some closets downstairs and uh, just trying to de-junk. Does anyone else do that before the holidays? Do y'all try to purge? Um, leave a comment below and let me know like when you do your big purge in your house, if you do that. Um, I like to do it before Christmas. I like to get things kind of cleared out before Christmas. Um, it just makes it so much nicer to bring stuff in um, as far as like the tree and lights and decorations and stuff and to have a clean house, you know, kind of a decluttered house. But then Christmas happens. And even though we do try to do clutter-free Christmas as much as possible, um, speaking of which, our next podcast episode that will come out on Monday is going to be on clutter-free Christmas ideas. So you'll have to check that out. I'll leave a link to our podcast in the description. Um, but we do tend to acquire some things over the holidays and so really just having the tree up and having all the decorations up for um a good solid month month and a half when it's january and we take everything down because i'm like a january 1st undecorator kind of girl um then I love to just clean, 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 have everything purged. I've got, I'm looking at my bookshelves in here right now and they're just really junky and I want to just really get rid of a bunch of stuff this year. Um, we just tend to get a little cluttered and it just doesn't sit well with any of us to have a cluttered home. So anyway, so all that to say, that's what we're doing this week is we're decluttering, we're purging some things, get it, consigning some things, um, taking some stuff to the thrift store so anyways but what i wanted to let you guys know of some no spend november things that we've been doing about day 15 probably we ran out of trash bags i did not see that one coming and so i was like what are we going to do well my father-in-law brought me a trash bag so or, or two so that we could get by and that was very nice um so I could think through what we were going to do about trash bags. Um, but Adam had the brilliant idea to use feed sacks. So we've been using feed sacks for the last week and a half, pretty much. So um, it works. It works really well, actually. Uh, the kids are, like I said, cleaning the attic and I actually sent them up with three feed sacks of their own so they can fill those up as trash bags. But as fate would have it, when I was cleaning out the kids' room, their closets, found a whole roll <laughs> of trash bags. So we're good. We're good to the end of the month. Um, I think the feed sacks might actually last us till the end of the month, which is fine. I feel like we're, we're repurposing them we're using them so they're not just being trashed and thrown away and um so it's a good thing we're saving some some plastic trash bags for when we really need them look what i got from the ground nice what are all these look like acorns so something about oh the, they're nice. oh are they walnuts 
think so. I don't know. What? what, honey? get on that big hay bale. There he is. The dog. Whoa, buddy. I'm glad he's back over here, aren't you? Yeah. Mom. What? Um, like, let me get on the hay bale. So, this jerky is way back there at that Ready? one hay bale back there. Can... Yeah, and, um, and Jacob comes running over there to get him, and it's not even... <laughs> not even that close to his meat. Yeah, that's well, okay. And y'all don't go near Jacob when he's eating either, okay? Yeah, I told okay. I was kind of close to him, but he didn't tackle me. Yeah, that's well, don't what, go near him when he's eating. That's what the shovels. Look, I'm over the big hay bale. They, they said don't go close to the dogs when they're eating. Yeah. Alright, I'm going to go see. Wait, I want you to film my cane sheep. Huh? I'll go get Maple. Okay. I'll go get Rosie. I'll go get Penny. Here, baby. Why don't you just take this with you over there? So, uh. Um, hey, Jacob. You can, we can't hear because of the leaves. So, this is big, fluffy Jacob. Okay, let's go see Maple now. Uh, this is Maple right here. Hello. She wants to go with her mom. Mm -hmm. Maple. Good oh, girl. Yeah, and then um, there's the rest of the sheep over there. Yeah, and we're going to go get the, we're going to go bring the goats back today. Yep. Because they were, they were at a different farm to be with a buck. And so, yeah, we're bringing them back today. They've been over there for over a month now. Yeah. I and, miss them. And Libby's probably like a full grown goat. Yeah. Cause she was a little baby. So anyways, that's where we are today. We've got a busy day. Um, Adam is moving the sheep back over here next to our house. They've been in another pasture. Um, we are working on the high tunnel today. We're going to go pick up our goats. Our goats have been um, at a neighbor's being bred, hopefully. And uh, we're going to pick those up today. And we've been cleaning the cars out and stuff like that. So it's just kind of like a cleaning day. Adam's been working off farm for a couple of days and then we already told you in our last video how busy our last week was and we really didn't get any work done last week much. Um, not like normal <laughs> anyways. So we're just looking forward to a good solid work day today right before the holidays. So I hope you guys are good. Hope you um, are following along with No Spend November. I've had so many people reach out and say, we're trying to do it with you. So uh, let me know in the comments how you're doing because I want to know um, if you're able to be successful and just some tips that you've had. All right, 